So if we start looking at break-even analysis, that's where we start to combine both the cost as well as the productivity to see when one system becomes more advantageous to another. So that's the way that we can compare two methods of yada extraction um, from the cutover. So in this case, we've got a motorized slack pulling carriage, and then we've got the grapple carriage. You can see carriage speeds, very similar if we're sending them out. Uh, grapple carriages come in a bit quicker because they have that lower payload on average. But often the big kicker here is that, you know, setting chokers anywhere from two to five minutes is time that we typically measure when we're doing our time study. So that's setting chokers as well as unhooking, lowering that load back to the ground. That's what's taking our time. In our modern grapple systems, we can grapple in less in about half a minute on average, uh, and we can drop them off in about a third of a minute. So, But you can see I've adjusted, so payloads, I've used a three and a six ton uh, scenario. Um, uh, sorry, I think I did a, a four and a six and a two and a three, but you can adjust these numbers. I'm happy to uh, send you that spreadsheet um, if you would like to play with the spreadsheet. But this is the type of output that you can get when you run that type of analysis. So here at the dotted lines, we've got our motorized slack pulling carriages at three as well as at five tons. So as we go out further, because of that time component of getting the carriage out and back, of course, we drop productivity. But you can see for these larger payload systems, they are less affected by distance. So as we go from 200 meters to 300 meters, we don't see a big drop in productivity. When you have a lower but a lower volume but higher speed type system, they drop do they do drop off very quickly. So the two grapple scenarios, two ton in the lighter blue, three ton in that darker blue color, you can see just how quickly they drop off um, as you start, especially as you start to get beyond 300 meters of extraction distance. So from this type of analysis, we can really start to see where the big um, gains are to be made in our cable logging system. So if we are able to adopt a grapple and get up over sort of two and a half ton average um, payload uh, coming back to the landing, which typically is just one tree in a head or two trees, uh, we're typically up at those larger payloads already, um, we can get really, really quite high productivities. And we've been able to show that in a number of our time studies that we can actually achieve that. So that's not to say that our grapple carriages can't compete with the motorized slack pulling carriages. They're still doing fine at those longer distances, but the really big gains are made um, at that sort of um, uh, 50 to 200 meters where the productivity really is that much higher than we would get in our uh, motorized slack pulling type carriage systems. So that's the theory, um, which you can do in a, in a basic analysis when you look at payload and time. It's a straight uh, uh, calculation type process. But the good thing is uh, with Hunter's PhD, he, not that he was testing uh, falcons uh, in particular, but he just happened to have uh, two falcon systems in his uh, study. So Hunter did a lot of comprehensive time studies on different yarder configurations, uh, looking at advantages and disadvantages. And you will quickly see that the two Falcon systems that he happened to have within the scope of his PhD work do exactly what they were predicted to do in theory is that really high productivities at those distances uh, of you know one to two hundred still competing with our other carriage systems even at that 250 300 uh, meter range okay so there's some really good data uh, if you would like to read hunter's phd to support just the basic theory that we have um, I know I used this slide in um, uh, the webinar one as well, but this was our most recent study. So we've basically gotten good at um, our uh, motorized grapple uh, yarder systems. We are actually getting those productivity. So in the latest 
range of studies. We're also sort of well north of that 70 to 80 tonnes per hour at those good extraction distances. This one here is out to, uh, the skyline was out 400 metres, an average extraction distance of 180 metres, and then we're at about that 60. Um, but that key thing is those cycle times are at one and a half minutes. Um, so for going out 200 metres, so 100 metre average, uh, and we're at two and a half minutes for that 200 meter average going out to 400 meter skyline length. So modern equipment really does result in sustained higher productivity uh, uh, for these systems.